looking at the aftermath of a crash that took the lives of three people. It's the third deadly crash we've reported on over the past two weeks where a semi or a bus has slammed into a car, slowed down near a construction zone. The latest crash happened Saturday near Bloomington. A Miller transport bus hit a minivan that was slowing down for construction there. That crash ended up killing three people who were from Greenwood. And so the question tonight we ask is, what can you do to protect yourself and your family, everyone in your vehicle, if you happen also to be stuck in a construction zone? Rich Van Wyk went to the experts today to find out. As drivers, we're all taught to pay attention, keep our eyes on the road, look ahead, see what's coming. But as it turns out, knowing what's in this rearview mirror, seeing what's coming from behind us, can be just as important to saving lives. In eight days, rear-end collisions have killed 10 people from Indiana or those traveling through the state. From what drivers tell us at this interstate rest stop, it's a common fear. You wonder if the other person behind you is going to be paying attention and whether or not you're going to get into an accident. To protect yourself, experts say drive defensively. First of all, keep your distance. Stay three to four seconds away from the vehicle ahead of you. Are people keeping their distance? A lot of people know. Here's a road check. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. The more distance between vehicles, the more time everyone has to react or stop. When speeding highway traffic suddenly slows down or comes to a complete stop. Have you ever thought about what you would do if someone's coming at you and they can't stop? I, I don't I don't know what to do. Cringe? <laughs> and hope for the best? No, there is a better, safer idea. I get out of the way if I can. You know, if they're coming up and not going to stop, I just try to get out of the way. The experts recommend have a way out. Pull over to the shoulder or median. Getting out of the way may get the other driver's attention. Lastly, pay attention. Anticipate what's coming down the road. Anticipate how you may have to react to other drivers. One other thing, if you have the time, hit that four-way flashing light button. It could let the person behind you know that something's wrong, get their attention, and keep everyone out of trouble. Scott? All right, Rich, thank you. There were several recent crashes around construction zones. The latest was last week on I-70 near Terre Haute. A semi-truck slammed into the back of a van, killing two kids, sending the mom and another child to the hospital. Police say traffic was slowing for construction, but that semi never slowed down. A few days before that, a Beech Grove family was killed on I-65 in Kentucky. They were stopped ahead of a construction zone when a semi-truck crashed into them.